Hey, what's up? I'm Joel Madden, and this is Artist Friendly. On this episode, I'm talking to comedian and host Jesse Kershank. You can watch her special, Minivan Money, exclusively on Veeps. Let's go. I don't want no bad times. I don't want to have bad Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm a boy band aficionado. I'm not putting you in that category. Yeah, God so, forbid. Yeah, but we're somewhere in the realm of boys and bands. We're in the realm of it somehow. Would you consider Good Charlotte a bad boy band? <laughs> you know what? Maybe. That's actually really Because I think that you, there is a world where you filled a void mm. for girls where like a Nick Carter wasn't doing it for them. Like a Benji Madden with full spikes was. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it was of it was like at the perfect time in pop culture for the next step out of boy band land, but not fully into like super cool indie rock. You had to take a step towards something outside of what you were being kind of fed by the pop culture. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, I, I like I like boy bands. I'm not saying, but there was certainly a, not to say they were manufactured, even though some of them were, but they were produced to sell to a mass audience of for sure uh so we were like a a good next step into the journey of like who am i what kind of music do i like it's it's more organic we did write our own songs and we dressed ourselves and so it was more organic for sure but not to say we weren't trying to be as presentable as possible because where we came from in our minds, we came from a very small place. We had no experience in entertainment. In our minds, like, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, look like a rock star, dress a certain way. So we were trying for sure. Fully. If you see the first album, we got led into a room with clothes and we, like, we shined ourselves up, like, as much as we could. And it, when I look back on that picture, I'm no longer as embarrassed as I used to be. But I have affection for it because I go, we, we had never had access to, like, whatever clothes you want and how do you want to dress and big photographer totally. and lights. And so, yeah. And you had no, I mean, now this interview is just being, um, it's about you. Cause no, yeah. I have so many questions for you. You had no business being as like confident as you were. Zero. Right. Like what the fuck? What the Who do fuck? you think you are? Who do you think you are yeah. with like the dripping eyeliner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My question for you <laughs> is, did you ever go like, Full Joey Fatone, Chris Kirkpatrick, and mascara in the beard around the jaw to create a jawline. No. Okay. I'm glad I'm we cleared that. that up. I can't do that. Okay. Can I also tell you this? Yeah. So I have identical twin boys. Mm -hmm. When I found out I was pregnant with identical twin boys. Identical twin boys. Like me and Benj. Yes. Yeah. When the doctor told me they do like a, oh. Ooh. And I had no idea. Oh. Oh. It's like not a scared. Oh. <laughs> so you oh. instantly are like, what? Oh. Look at that. And then they just pan over and there's just another one there's chilling a whole in there. other baby. So I'm like blacking out. Wow. I'm panicking. I had no idea this would happen. And the two images that pop, they tell you right away they're identical. They told us they were boys. The two images that pop into my mind are the property brothers and the Madden twins. Oh yeah, the um the um the guys who fix up houses. Well, one of them fixes and one of them sells, Joel. Get it. That's Don't right. Don't get it twisted. It, they're a team. They work together. That's like me and Bench. Yes. So I was like, okay, you you gave me strength in that moment that I was, you know, I was either pregnant with a contractor and a realtor or good Charlotte. Yes. So thank you. You know what? Twins is very special. Tell me more. No, seriously, because my guys are seven and they're like currently gouging each other's eyes out. And I yeah. feel like I'm not doing a good job raising them. And all I want is for them to be friends and bandmates and business partners when they're older. Yeah. I think people are going to tell you like separate them. Yeah. Don't. Oh, okay. Should I call the school now or because they are currently in separate classes? Yeah, they did that to us at the same age. They tried to separate us and we hated it. Really? And it was not good for us. And then they let us be together. Now things happen like in middle school, you might have different classes or whatever, but like, I remember in school, they separated us and we hated it and we're best friends. So I'm not saying that the separation that might be, that might actually in the long run, make them more like us, which was, we did get separated and we hated it. And then we always found our way back together. Any chance we got. And we are just best friends and we've always been best friends and we call each other 20 times a day 
and we text a hundred times a day. We say good night to each other. We say good morning to each other. Yeah, I mean, it might sound like corny or whatever, but like I don't care. I just, I'm literally we, on the verge of tears. This it, is the most beautiful thing. And I've our ever wives heard. had to kind of get used to that as well because right. like we share like he doesn't knock. He comes over and just comes in. Like we just share space. So like it is like having like another person in your life if you're married to a Madden brother. Right. But a twin, maybe. I think there's other twins out there that are as close as that. Um, but when you get used to it it actually is a strength. Like you do have like another team member. Wow. And luckily our wives are so close that it works. I could not imagine if they didn't get along and they are so close. They're like sisters and it's really sweet. Uh, but I don't know how it would work if they didn't like each other. That would be, I don't even know no, what that would be you like. Wouldn't know why. You wouldn't want to know. Yeah. That is the greatest thing that I've ever been told about twins. It's amazing. It's like, it's, I could not imagine my life without, my brother, I couldn't even imagine like what, like I really give him credit for everything. Like I, I always say like, I have everything I have. My life has been what it's been because of my brother. And he would probably say the same thing, but I really think it's him, not me. Does it not bother you when people mistake you for each other? Like you're no. just, it's just, ha it, you're just used to it. All the time. Okay. People come up to me like, Hey man, that was so great to see you the other day. And they'll start talking for like five minutes and no. I'm just waiting to like jump in and go, Hey, I think you, I think you're talking about Benj. I'm Joel, his brother. Wow. Wait a second. You're Joel? Because I thought I was on Benji's yeah, podcast. Is yeah, this, yeah. should I move to the other room? Yeah. Well, yeah. His is uh, is in Santa Barbara. So. Oh, bro, that's a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive. Yeah, let's <laughs> settle in then. <laughs> just you and I. Not as cool as mine either. No, please. It doesn't even put it online. Uh, what? <laughs> he just does it for himself. For fun. Yeah, he just invites people pure, into a small space. He's a purist. Yeah. He just wants to have a God, conversation and share it with so no one. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You should go okay. do that one though. Right. And then yeah. compare them. Yeah. yeah. That's cool though. You have twins. Yeah. You're a mom of twins. I'm a mom of twins. And are those your, are those your only two? They should be. Yeah. But they're not. Because you I have a I went ahead daughter. and had a daughter. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. I thought I saw that. Three kits. Yeah. yeah. It's one too many kits. <laughs> I didn't say which one. Yeah, exactly. It was just... Yeah, you're gonna let them. Mathematically, you're gonna let them wonder that many. for yes. the rest of their life. Yes. Am I the one? No, no, I'm not gonna let them listen to this. I'm gonna direct them to the Benji podcast that yeah. I did. Yes. So we'll never hear this one. Three you're children. You're a funny mom. Um, thank you. Yeah, your comedy is very, very funny because it's like, it's like the mom thing. You know, the mom thing. You're not making it seem very cool, which is no. a, a what? No, please. it's like funny because it's true, but okay. it's also really fucking funny. Yeah. Like you at a Chuck E. Cheese is funny because I've been there and it is like that. It's just kind of tired. You're just kind of tired. Okay. You're just kind of tired and it sucks and you're just standing there because you're like, I think the kids are having fun. I mean, I brought them here and they're, they're there and I think they're having fun. I can't tell completely if they're having fun. But they're here and they're participating. Absolutely. And now I'm just here killing time yeah. and trying to be a good parent by going like, yeah, good right. job. The so fun. The only thing I'm thinking about is like, are they contracting a communicable disease yeah, on that merry-go-round? Right. You've been to a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Tell me how that goes down. Because I, I posted a video. I was at, I don't want to brag on this podcast, but I was at a Chuck E. Cheese for a children's birthday party this exactly. weekend. Exactly. That's why so, you go. Yeah. Um, that's why I, I went. posted a video of myself literally just tolerating every moment tolerating of it. it. That, I felt it so deep. Or, thank I you. I felt it so deep in me. It made me laugh because I was like, but now you don't even have to say anything. You just do a montage of you in every different place <laughs> that I would have literally have been because it's a certain age range from zero to like nine. Uh -huh. Eight, maybe there's a certain age range where you have to kind of be near your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just let them. No. And so you're like, you're kind of just standing and then you're like having a like small talk with some other parent. And yes. You have to, but yeah. you, not that you two would ever talk ever. No. And they're not bad people. You're just like, you know, you're just in the world with your kid and staying within 10 feet of them so that, you know, you can keep them from, you know, horrible things happening. <laughs> And then you're like just killing time with the other parent doing the same thing. But if you were that other parent at the Chuck E. Cheese that I was at, if I turned around and I saw Joel Madden at like the Papa shot, I, I, I don't know if I would, you would have made my day. No. Yes. 
I just can't imagine you in regular parent spaces. Really? I've been doing it now for uh, 16 years. I know you have. It's wild. It's wild. Yeah. Yeah. But I have. Yeah. yeah you just go and you yep. stand there and yep. you talk about stuff and yep. kill a little time. And you're like, you know. I do. Has anyone ever asked to take a picture with you in like a really embarrassing place? Like has anyone? Of course. Ever, and you just do you Nicole say. Nicole too. Like she's, she gets it worse, way worse than me. Right. I mean, I'm right. like at least a little bit standoffish. Do you have Chapel Roan rules or do you say yes? Like no, where... no, no. I don't have Chapel Roan rules. All due respect. I I, I, I respect her rules. I'm nothing wrong with those. No. Um, but when you're with kids, it's different. Yeah. Because you're suddenly a little bit Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and you can't not be Chuck E. Cheese if yes. someone's treating you like Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, my God. you got to be a little bit like... Get the guitar on. <laughs> so you're suddenly so you're suddenly like, oh, you want me to put the mouse suit on? Okay, hold on. And it ain't even Mickey Mouse, it's Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, it's Chuck E. Cheese. Like, it's God, I wish I was Mickey Mouse, mouse but suit. I am literally kind of Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. It wasn't quite Mickey Mouse, but it wasn't a flop. Joel Madden of Good Charlotte doing a Chuck E. Cheese impression is something I didn't know I needed, and I'm so glad I've received. Yeah. Anything could happen. Wow. Yeah. It's self-awareness. <laughs> Yes. Yes. It's, it really is. It's just reality, you yeah. know, because on one hand, you're in the same boat. You're entertaining for a job. Uh -huh. So you're going on tour and you're doing a stand up. But then every once in a while, you're going to come into a situation where someone wants you to do stand up. Mm -hmm. And you're just like there with your kids and it's like fucking 11 a.m. on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. You were up late. Maybe you had like your one night out with your, you know, your friends or your wife or whatever husband and and then you're like uh and you're there and you're like the kids are like there and the like i think they're having fun i mean they're here yeah and then you're just like okay all right i'm just gonna like catch my breath for this next hour and a half or yes. two while they're you know while i don't have to physically hold them right and so i'm just recharging a little bit mm -hmm. and you never know when it's gonna happen but someone's like hey chucky <laughs> you're on do you know that I was in Vancouver, my hometown, a couple of weeks ago? I was with my kids. Somebody approached me at a Subway restaurant. Again, I don't mean to brag, but I was dining at a Subway. Yeah. And we talked and it was fine. And then this person posted. It was like, saw Jesse Crookshank at the Subway. She was not very funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no not shit. Funny. Yeah, no I shit. I was ordering three I'm kids meals. I'm trying to stuff this sandwich in my kid's you. mouth so that I can move on to the next activity. Yeah. And just get to five o'clock so that we could have dinner and then I could put them to bed. Thank you. Like you're in that age, like I'm saying, like zero to mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine, right? Mm -hmm. It's great. Okay. You love it. Uh, no, but does it get love better? My kids. Yeah, of course. Okay. But you have to physically be with them yeah. all the time and watch to make sure that nothing happens. Right. Like they don't get hurt or yeah. that's a job that unless you completely farm it out, mm which you, you don't, most parents don't, mm. it's hard work. At the end of the day, you're tired. It mm. doesn't matter who did what your husband, you, you guys are divvy, whoever's doing what there's a partnership, but like some days are going to be harder for you. Some days for your partner, whatever. Mm -hmm. At the end, you're tired. So in the process of it, everybody has a different work personality. People come up like to you and it's not that you're like you don't hate them you're just like oh you don't realize i'm actually just doing this getting job subway over here sandwich yeah getting my kids a subway sandwich yep. Yep. and getting through my fucking day yes. yeah so yeah sorry yes. i uh i also think it's funny that you you have said a couple of times now that i have to make sure that my kids are okay and alive because i don't do that for the third one third one just holds on just kind of like third drags. one has raised herself yeah you just put him in like a backpack oh, absolutely i didn't look at that third one once at the chuck yeah. e cheese when it was time to go i was like is she still here well i mean and she's better for it yeah she's truly. gonna be have a lot of resilience absolutely yeah absolutely she was like a very early talker which probably happens because she was surrounded by you have a younger sibling right hey notice me over here i can talk Wait, i can i'm six months old yes literally <laughs> six months no, like before she was walking <laughs> yeah full sentences. full sentences all the moms at the la preschool are like is she on a uh phonics app what reiki healer are you taking her to yeah like, no it's called 
neglect. Thank you. I was like, no, I literally. It's a great raise. It yeah, raises children really. Absolutely. Uh, I didn't do shit. The 90s method. Uh-huh. Totally. My daughter like can speak a full sentence, doesn't know colors. It likely has tons of talent that you don't even know about. Do you think? Probably. Okay. You just haven't stopped to notice yet. If the talent is eating carbs and cheese exclusively, yeah. then very talented.